It's the standard in offshore performance. Feeling the wind, the swell, the water, pushing down the throttle and you're instantly cutting through the swell. The ride smooth, quiet. You get to enjoy traveling at your own pace. I definitely think aluminum is the future of sport fishing. It just opens up so many new possibilities. Hi, my name's Daniel Galvin, Marketing Manager here at Makaira Boats. We started this journey with the ambition to create the softest riding, best performing boat on the market. In so demonstrating all of the benefits of aluminium over fiberglass. And it's with my great pleasure I introduce to you the founder and director of Makaira Boats, Alan Shaw. Thank you, Dan. I've been looking forward to this moment for a very long time. Makaira Boats has had a challenge what's possible in an aluminium boat and in the process, redefine the boating industry. The hull we're presenting to you today is one of the strongest boats in the market. It's lightweight when compared to fiberglass, more efficient, and it has features that many people said were not possible in an aluminium boat. These boats are designed and built in New Zealand, which is at the bottom of the South Pacific Ocean. If the hull can perform in these conditions, it will perform anywhere in the world. The next generation Makaira has been completely redesigned from the keel up so that even the most demanding offshore skippers won't push a Makaira to its limits. And the family excursion will have all the modern comforts. You are better to have an offshore boat and never use it to its full potential than not have it and need it. It's a redefined battleship, which is why we have named our boats Makaira, Latin for sword and the genus name for Marlin. The boat you're about to see is the only plate aluminium boat with a true Carolina flared hull. We believe this will redefine boating. The Gen 3 hull came about through continuous development of what we had in the Gen 2. The Gen 2 was and still is a very good riding uh, aluminium boat, pretty widely regarded as one of the softest riding hulls in the aluminium industry. And uh, we just wanted to improve on that. You know, we're never going to be happy with what we're producing, we're always going to be fine tuning it and, and developing it further. So the Gen 3 came about pretty naturally through that. Our style of boat has always been based off that Carolina sport fisher look, but using aluminium up until now, it hasn't been possible for us to produce a flared hull. Benefits of the flared hull are pretty notable. The softness of ride has increased, but also the dryness of ride is the main reason we run the Carolina flare. Also in a following sea, it provides lift. There's a whole heap of benefits to the flare and it also looks awesome. There's no other alley boats out there that look like ours. It makes us stand out from the crowd. 
the first thing I noticed when we took the first Gen 3 out uh, for a sea trial was how effective the flared bow was. I think it exceeded expectations because you're able to sit here on the gunnel like this and be dry. The key differences between a Gen 2 and a Gen 3 hull are the hull structure. So in the Gen 2 we've always had on all of our boats a lifetime hull warranty but we've taken that a step further with the Gen 3 and we've built the hull structure to Lloyd's special service craft. So the frame and girder spacing and the hull plate thickness meets Lloyd's special service craft to 30 knots in a metre of sea. So we're one of the only builders in the world to build trailer boats to that standard. So the Gen 3 is basically 10 years of Makara Boats development. We've spent the last two years designing this, this new model and there's a lot of features that are new to not only our range but haven't been done before in the aluminium boat building industry. So the main benefit of aluminium boats over fiberglass boats is you can make changes in the boat. So if we want to make an improvement to our hull or improvement to the cockpit in the next, very next build, we can incorporate that. So it means the development of our boats is far quicker than fiberglass boats. If you look around the fiberglass industry, there's dozens of manufacturers that still use the same boat moulds as they were building 30 years ago. So in the fiberglass industry, there's been very little development around the functionality in their boats. Um, whereas aluminium, we can, we can come up with an idea and it can be on the next boat that comes off the jig. We're not limited to moulds. So that's one of the main advantages. Other advantages is it's lighter to tow, it's more hardy so you can rub it against the dock, you don't need to worry about gel coat damage, you can beach it, they're just much more durable. The Gen 3, the chine is slightly higher and narrower forward, creating a, a finer entry and creating more flare, more outward fall in the top side panels. And that's accentuated with some compound curvature near the top to deflect that spray. I think the Gen 3 with its flared hull, I don't know if revolutionised, we haven't reinvented the wheel, but it's definitely taken aluminium boats to the next step. Now there's nothing that you can say you can do in a fiberglass boat that you can't do in an aluminium boat.